Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Argentina, and they take on South Africa. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The Argentina first team. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And here's the starting 11 for South Africa. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the match is underway. Noxolo Cezanne. Seo Posenwe. Cezanne. Can she steer us out of there? Rodriguez. An incisive pass. Oh, a vital interception. Germain Seopusenwe. Now, who can she pick out? A smart stop here. Who can they pick out? And able to get a body in the way. The clearance wasn't decisive. Promising attack, this. They could nudge in front. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Well, showing everyone her abilities in possession. Crossing possibilities. A really intense pressure applied. Superb block. Rodriguez.
This looks interesting. Excellent defending. Gatlana. They might be able to get in now. Could be. And she's kept it out. Played over. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. <laughs> this to make it 1-0. And confidently converted. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. She stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for her, she's got it wrong. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. La Roquette. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. Magaya. Florencia Bonsegundo. La Roquette. Nunez. And the emphasis is on creativity. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Linda Mothalo. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Danger averted. Very quick thinking there. Romina Nunez. Estefania Banini. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Superb block. And the keeper more than equal to it. Going short. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Mokhalo. Le Bohang Ramalepe. Promising looking ball. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Uh, 
Well, those stats don't surprise me. Argentina have certainly had more of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Indeed, and first they have to win back possession. Chance to play it in. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Bon segundo. Just not looking confident in possession. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And the match is under. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. How about the cross? And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Not trailing, but plenty of time left and a corner coming up. And taken short. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. And over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Breaking at pace. But quick thinking defensively. Banini. In position. Vital intervention. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. <laughs> to extend the lead here. Corner kick played in. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Well, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And into the last 30 minutes now. This looks threatening. Oh, 
there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. And snuffing out the danger. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Motohalo. Well, not hard to read that pass. Teammates available. Great block. Rafilo Jane. Cezanne. And players waiting in the centre. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Romina Nunez. Santana. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Oh, surely. Well, she's failed to hit the target. Well, that could be a big moment in the game. What a chance that is. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. La Roquette into the advanced position cuts in from the flank superb block well, the outcome is a free kick here Just 10 minutes to go. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. On the attack in the closing phase. This could square the game. Splendid defending. There to take it away. advantage with them referee says play on well in the end not very much came of that advantage and so she's decided to give them a free kick instead and a yellow card it's going to be Stewart yeah the ref got that right it's a yellow card all day long and time for the change now And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Well, she's gone for the short one. Oh, that pass easy on the eye, and the goal won't stand. Offside the decision. Well, that was always going to be brought back. It was a decent effort, though. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. 
Ramalepe. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And it's over. Argentina have lost this game. Well, that wasn't part of the script as far as their fans are concerned. Stuart, your assessment. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Now, who can she pick out?